Um, my condition doesn't allow me to sleep a lot at night. And today, during the day, I took a, a little bit of a longer nap. So I apologize that we, I got a little bit of a later head start. So my bad on that. But my husband was very kind to let me sleep and sleep and sleep. And then all of a sudden, wake up. Yeah. Wake up. <laughs> he goes, here, the phone, the phone, the phone's for you. And I'm like, what? Like out of it. And he goes, I don't know. It was just ringing and I answered it and, and they're your people. So anyways, I'm glad my people called me. All of you girls that called me, thank you. Because if you guys would not have called me, um, I would have slept right through tonight. So my bad. Thank you for being so patient. And I apologize for anybody who tr who said set any kind of um schedule around me being here like 20 or 30 minutes ago because i know you guys are got your own schedule so my bad on that um tonight we're making chili my chili doesn't taste my chili doesn't take long but it tastes like it's been simmering all day um and i've heard that a couple people told me that that it tastes like i've been simmering it all day how long has it been so sometimes i'll make it in the morning or even the night before and I'll pour it into the crock pot. So when I get home, when our son was in, hey, mom, hey, everybody, hey, nosy. When our son, our son and daughter both played sports. So I would make it sometimes in the morning, but everybody knows how mornings go when you have kids. Nothing goes as planned. So sometimes I would make it at night, stick it in the fridge. Hey, mom, Mimi. Um, I would stick it in the fridge. And then in the morning, all I had to do was pour it in the slow cooker. So when we came home at... Um, when we came home at like five or six, it was on warm and it was ready to go. That's just, Hey Kelly, that's just hey, how baby. it worked for us is that, um, she's in Missouri or whoever that is. Um, so anyways, I make it that I can eat it right when everybody's walking on the door, grabbing their stuff and putting it away. I'll start browning the meat. I'll throw the beans in and everything. And my chili's ready to eat within, um, 25 minutes. I mean, it, it really is a fast cook. Um, baby, when you get done, can you look for all of them? I think there should be a total of three of these. Oh, here's another one. Chili. Let me start up, y'all. Chili pie. So I have one and a half pounds of ground beef. Don't get angry if I can't find the third one. <laughs> Come on. Because we got two. You found those. Look for it. There is a, no. Maybe a McCormick. There maybe? is none. No, there's a McCormick one. I know I have McCormick. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Don't get angry. Oh, I'm so mad. Why are you all a... Oh, baby. There is none. Is that cinnamon? Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Why did I do it? It is what it is. I can boil those chili anchos and make that. Into... Remember we were talking about that? Yeah. Let's <laughs> not do that. <laughs> That's like a whole nother... Um, you guys, you know what we thought about doing? We thought about doing a live with all the little... Um, what are they called? Like all the little, um, um, like the terms, like to sift flour. So if you guys want to start baking and cooking and stuff, like what is bake, uh, folding in your whipped cream or Cool Whip or whisking something, um, julienne, chopping, mincing, dicing, like not that we know it all. We, I've just been cooking for a little while. So when I'm baking or my mom's been baking her whole life, she tells me what to do. Then I'll be like, mom, what? The difference between a quarter cup of melted butter and a quarter cup butter melted. They're two different things, believe it or not. You're going to get different results because the measurements are different. Home of the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, no. <laughs> we're cowboys in the house. Okay, we're but done. we love anybody. We're done. <laughs> we love anybody that comes in. So what I put in my ground beef, it's just ground beef. I, with my meat, cook my onions in with it i did a half an onion a half of a medium onion and i did three quarters of a green pepper and i don't put more than that right now because i want to visually see what it looks like but so a half an onion and three quarters of a green pepper you want to visually see what that looks like yeah i want to okay you wanted to visually see yeah. mm -hmm. come on over hold on hold on See how much meat it has? I want to get it browned up so I can see what it's looking like. I want to see uh, the ratio, the green pepper. I don't mind it in chili. I'm not a fan of green pepper on my, on my, um, what's that thing called? On my pizza, because I just think it's too strong. 
but I like a Denver omelet. I mean, you really don't, can't tell with me. I swear I don't like cinnamon, but I love cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon bun. We traveled like, a lot on like the road. You like sugar and cinnamon toast, but you don't yeah. like cinnamon. And not like we she traveled. hates cinnamon. I hate cinnamon. Um, when we travel and we'd see like a truck stop that had cinnamons, I'd be like, oh, I'm getting it. What is that? Oh, okay. Um, so when I incorporate the ground beef with the, the, um, and I use 80, 20, you guys can use Turkey. You guys can use uh, 90, 10. If you use 90, 10, I would use a little bit of oil, you guys, cause it's very, very, very lean. And I like lean. Uh, maybe, I don't know what I use. Lean. She don't like lean. <laughs> I don't like, Joe, you're awful. Um, I like, uh, could you grab me a water, baby? Yeah. I like, um, I like 80, 20, sometimes even 73, 27 when I'm doing my meatloaf, my burgers. I just like, uh, the, the, the fat in it actually does give it, uh, something. Tops. Thank okay. you, baby. It's off. Okay. Does it have Good. ice in it? Uh. In a minute, I'm going to have you, Joe, I'm going to have Joe bring you back over here so I can show you what... This is about what I would like as many green peppers in there because remember we're gonna have juice in there. We're gonna have um, tomatoes. I use they didn't have a small can of tomatoes, so I had to buy the big can. But I would I'm gonna use half of this. I use three kinds of beans. If I had they had four, I would have used the fourth. I like light kidney, dark kidney, which you don't have to do kidneys. I like kidney beans. I like ranch stuff or I'm sorry, chili beans, light kidney, dark kidney, and pinto. You can add uh, just all kidney, light and dark, two and two. I like the flavor that, um, I don't know, I just like the flavor that, um, I guess I'm not that big of a fan of the dark kidney. I prefer the light, but the rest of the store we go to, the bean section is this big and I have to take what they have. Ooh, do you put pinto in your chili? Oh, that tastes so good. Now, some people will argue and take some um, fat out once it's cooking. I do drain it a tiny bit because I don't want a film of the... You'll see. Come on over, Joy. Let's go visually check it out. <laughs> You're going to get punched. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, see, it, to me, this looks like too much oil because I don't want... Um, I don't want... I don't want there to be film on top of with like your 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 chili down here and then there's like a little layer of fat. I don't want that. And that to me looks like a little too much fat for me. So but then again, I don't want to go any leaner in my meat because I do want I want to be the one to choose how much and how little of it versus them taking all of my fat out. <laughs> we choose it's our time it's our choice it's my meat my choice <laughs> just kidding you guys i don't mean that and please don't nobody come for me i'm not being disrespectful <laughs> okay see my meat's pretty good done my meat my choice i I'm love gonna, that I'm gonna, oh, get that's you our home. new catchphrase babe i'm gonna add some my salt meat, in it my choice because it's meat still cooking you want to add salt i'm not gonna add <laughs> pepper i'm gonna add just salt i'm not gonna put too much I'm putting, let's say, I'm putting half of what I would put because my beans, even though they're in a can, they're preserved, so they add something to it, and I don't want it. I just don't want Would it. Would butter beans work in this? Butter beans don't work in anything but in a grocery <laughs> store. So I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yvonne is I knew the answer to that. <laughs> what were you going to do? The same answer you You knew did. what I was going to say? Yeah. <laughs> Aw, we're not being nice to people, honey. <laughs> Y'all use what you want. Yes, use butter beans. Yeah, Try it out. Could. Do one can of butter I'm sure beans. Sure, you could. And use. I don't even know what butter beans taste like, so I'm just talking out of my butt. Go, oh, Joe. I'm putting one tablespoon of garlic garlic powder if you don't want the fresh garlic in there. Once you put the fresh garlic, you're gonna have to let it cook and fry and do a sting of a jiggy because fresh garlic does taste different than the. Um, can uh, powder garlic. It, it doesn't taste different. It just tastes raw. So you have to cook it longer. So you can't taste the difference other than you can't taste the powder, but you can definitely taste the raw garlic if it's raw. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. 
So I am going to show you guys how much oil I'm draining because I don't want this in my beans or in my chili. Um, oh, we don't have the other black one. Maybe. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, no, I need this one with hole, without holes. Which one do you want? The black one without holes. Uh, it's either. I know. It's in, uh, unless it's in there. Yeah, it's okay. Let me use this. No, it's too straight. All right. It's okay. Just grab a ladle and take some of it out. There. Can you guys see that arch right there? Boom. I'm going to show you how much I'm going to leave it with. So if you want to do that, you can. I do keep some of it. I still think there's some of it is juices. It's not all oil. Okay, come on over, all guys. Right. Coming over for a visual C. Mm -hmm. Okay. See so guys, it, it's got a little bit at the bottom. It's not completely dry. I left some because I do think it is still juicy. Okay. Right. Remember, my meat, my choice. Yeah, <laughs> Joe, no, we don't want to say that ever. <laughs> yes, we do. It's my okay. new mantra. Kidney my beans. Meat, oh my no, choice. I did it again. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, ready guys? Kidney beans, everything in. That's the easiest chili. How, much, how hard can that be? I, chili beans or ranch is basically chili beans. Okay, guys. This is the easiest chili. Swear. Pinto beans. And I made pinto beans. That's why it's in a cup and not in a pan. Because I make my own beans. Because I'm Mexican. Just kidding, y'all. Okay. So, everybody... Buy as many chili powders as you can because they all have a different flavor. One's a smoked, one's a hot chili. I'll show you the difference in the bottom too. See the difference in color? One's a little, oh, see the difference? They're both chili powder, but they just make them differently. Use your own, if your family has your own, like, um, like some people actually, and I would love to learn how to do the chili, um, what is that called? like chili powder with like ancho chilies boil it with onion garlic tomatoes like the way we make mexican enchiladas and menudo and all that i just don't know how that would work with this i mean i could always try it one day um i'm gonna stick my fire on low because i don't need it high anymore from this point i add one of the big containers that i had yesterday of chick of chicken broth I make my own beef broth too. So 32 ounces or 32 what? ounces beef broth, but, but I'm not putting it. So for starters, I'm going to add, so I would say I'm going to add about 20 ounces. Leave it all. I'm not going to put it all, but I'm, I'm keeping it on reserve because I'm going to keep the fire on. That's kind of what you do in cooking. You kind of see, like, did you leave it on the stove for longer than you planned to because the people weren't home yet? Then you had a little more broth. Like, make it and then taste it. And then I'm going to taste this before I put any salt or anything like that. Chili powder is one thing. I choose, some people put fresh jalapenos. I like the vinegar taste. I don't know why. I either use hot sauce or I use these. So if you... Oh, those are bitters. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was a mini Tabasco. No. And then I put my fire on low. Shit, when you want to see. I mean, and you, the, the, what's it called? Um, the beans have its own little, like, waxy stuff or thickening. It has its own thickening in it. And then the thickening in it, honestly, is what thickens yours. Some people, I've seen The juice be, in there. Yes. In the, in the can. Some people actually put cornstarch in their chili. I have never done it. I don't need to do it. I just don't drain my beans. I, and, and I've made, I'm 50 years old. I probably started making chili when I was 17. So I've always made it just leaving the, the liquid in my beans, pouring it in here. I'm going to grab a bowl. Um, well, I usually grab a little uh, ramekin. Put some salt i'm gonna put this and i still have to put my tomatoes um i need a clean spoon 
Um, you guys, I usually put two, I'm sorry, one meat, one of these cans of tomato. They didn't have it, so I had to get this. Joe's not a big tomato eater uh, in general. I mean, he'll eat it. He'll eat it, but especially at night, he's not a big um, tomato eater. It just um, digestively, it doesn't do well for him. So I wanted to adjust my chili to what the people who are going to eat it. If you have people that don't like chili or don't like um, uh, tomatoes or can't eat tomatoes, don't put them in there. Put tomato sauce instead. I mean, honestly, you guys, it's your 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 recipe is basically your template to what. Hey, Zero, I love you. I love you, girl. I know this is late for you. Um, and I put tomato sauce and I put tomatoes, but I, I don't put. I mean, I. Anna Maria just came in. Hey, Anna Marie. Or Anne Marie, right? Anne. Um, this is a the four ounce can of tomato sauce. Believe it or not, I've seen people that put ketchup instead of putting tomato sauce. They put ketchup. Do uh, they like it? I mean, that's trash too, baby. Your your. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a momento. And this is what my husband's favorite thing term is when he's cooking. You need the flavors to have give time for them to. Hey, Marissa. Um, you need the the flavors to mend together or blend together. Or he uses a bad word that they are doing to each other. <laughs> hey, tragic. Woo! Oh, they're saying hi to you, and Daddy. Hey. I'm gonna lift up? you guys over, y'all. Uh, here, I got you. Hold on, baby. I got you. Hold on. Hold on. Mm -mm. All right, come on over. Right. This is what it's looking like now. You don't, if you guys don't like green peppers, take them out. That's what the green is in it. Those are the beans in there, the kidney. Kidney beans, pinto beans. Those are the dark kidney. Those are the ranch beans, and those are the pinto beans. I had homemade, um... I had homemade pinto beans, so that's why I used my homemade. Otherwise, I would have bought canned like I used the other day for Joe's. So my fire is going to go on, low, I would say medium. I took a little bit of oil out just because I don't want there to be that on the top of it. I'm going to grab a little ramekin up there, baby, so we can try it. Honestly, you guys, that is it for the chili. With Give it, that was 17 minutes. I would give it another 15 minutes on the stove on medium or medium low, and your flavor is there. The flavor is there. I swear to you, you will have that flavor. Flavor. Okay. Everybody, thank you for coming in. All the repeats, the first and secondaries. Do you put? You put bacon. bacon. <laughs> my bacon is in my uh, frijoles a la chad. So my I used my pintos that I made. The I had them in the freezer, so I defrosted them. That's why there's bacon in my frijoles a la chad. So instead of sifting through it, I didn't have time for that, Marissa. I got up late, okay? I was taking a little bitty nap. Um, so normally there wouldn't be bacon, y'all. <laughs> there wouldn't be bacon. No, usually not. There's usually not, but I made frijoles a la chad. I didn't use them all. And as Mexicans know, we freeze our beans. Then I knew that I was. we used the pinto beans for Joe's recipe. And I said, oh, I've got my beans in the freezer. Let me defrost them. And then once I defrosted them, I just put them in a cup. Frijoles a la chat. They've got cilantro, tomato, which I put tomato in this anyways. Um, and garlic. Uh, I mean, they taste fine. Um, it's, it's, I, it's, it's it's my it's, beans, my choice. Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't mean that. Marissa, thank you. For you. But I'm glad you asked so people would ask me. You know what I mean? <laughs> but what I'm going to put is I'm going to put it in here mm -hmm. so you guys can take a little peeky peek. Marissa's like, why are there bacon in your beans? <laughs> Jeez, I've never seen that. You know what I do put though? I put bacon grease in my um in my what is that stuff I make? Uh biscuits and gravy. Which honestly, it gave it, I'm telling you, when the recipe I make you for uh biscuits and gravy is phenomenal. It's you brown your brown your sausage the way you would normally. Then there's the remnants in the pan of your sausage that you made. Then you get some bacon grease. And you put it into your pan that you fried your, your sausage in. Then that's where you put your flour into the bacon. 
and then I add garlic to it. And then I add, uh, I give that roux a little cook. And then once it's ready, I add the cream to it. So, <laughs> yeah, you put them in your, that's, it, it's my mom or my grandmas have always made the bacon in our beans. That's called the frijoles a la chad, um, or uh, borracho beans. Okay, this isn't our tink tink. This is just to see where we at. All right. So you don't get to do that one. Well, uh, let me get that big spoon over there, then. the big black one over there. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to put jalapenos in it because I want a spice. Good. It, it, it tastes okay, but I'm, I want it to taste. Wow. Mm -hmm. That tastes good. good, right? That is good. I'm going to put a little more salt, you guys. And I'm going to put jalapenos. You guys can either put the juice of the jalapenos. Yeah. Salt and jalapenos. And we just like it with a kick. Don't put it if you don't like it. It's friendly right now. We'll say that word. So you're getting some juice out of there? I am taking some juice. And, well, we got this pinta jalapeno hole. You want me to? I can slice it up. Okay. Even if, and only because we like to bite into it, slice it into slices. Otherwise, I might put it in there. See, like this, you guys? These are huh? little jalapeno slices. Put them in there. I like it. Spicy. Um, I think it it's everything. It takes it to a new level. You want to mix that? Put it in there and then mix it. Sure. Grazie. I'm going to kind of give them a rough chop here also. Instead of just having them sliced. What are you doing? Give them a rough chop instead of having them just slices. There we go. Jalapenos. I like fresh ones in there too. Yeah. Yeah. It was like on the top. Yeah. Towards the end, but still, they so they stay crunchy. Mm-hmm. And nice and vibrant green and crunchy. All right, I'm gonna. You gonna bring them over, baby, so they can see it. Yeah. Joe is a rogue. <laughs> He's rogue chopping. He's rough chopping it like a crazy man, right? Zero. He's got a lot of aggression. <laughs> see that? Yes, um, so the chili right now has green pepper and onion. That's what I fried my meat in with garlic. Once the green pepper, onion, and garlic are done, then I start adding in my beans. Once all my beans are in there, I add my broth last so then I can visually see how much I need. So my tomatoes, and then if you're gonna keep it on the stove, it will continue to reduce. Just go and grab a spoon and see if it's the flavor you're looking. A lot of times I'll taste it and I go, I want it hotter. I'll add more jalapenos. Some other people put cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is going to give you a different heat than, than jalapenos. We, I enjoy a vinegar, that vinegar hot sauce or vinegar jalapeno versus cayenne just hot. Um, but this is honestly ready to go. Your chili's done. You put a lid on it, put it in the slow cooker or just put it on low and you're not going to mess with it. It's honestly done, done, done. Like the flavor is just going to get is better and better. <laughs> it's done, done. Well, let me say it 17 more times. <laughs> I mean, I can say that. Your but chili, really, your choice. But I, re I really won't do it. There's some people that say they're going to say it 17 times and they literally say it 17 times. <laughs> Okay, let's get a bowl so we can set it up. Pretty, pretty like. You want to get one, baby? Mm -hmm. Oh my, what's going on? <laughs> no, the white ones, the, the cream ones. Do we have any of those? Huh? No. The little baby ones? Nothing in here. Come on, Joey. Okay, let's do this. All right, yeah. Pop Serving in a cup. And it's got a handle. What better can you think can you do? I would use the one from school, but this is Mama and Papa. Isn't that cute, y'all? All right. If you took a, a, a bowl out right now, I promise you, you guys would would be like, it's ready to eat. It, and obviously, the longer it simmers, the more the flavors blend together. But honestly... I don't know why or how or anything. I do what I do with my steps every single time. And every time we take it, somebody's like, oh, my God, has this been cooking all day? Or my husband's like, oh, my God, did you make this this morning? And it's literally just got made 20 minutes ago. 
All right, I'm gonna pour some in a bowl or a cup or whatever. And yes, it probably will get thicker. That's probably what was more likely to happen um, is it gets thicker. Oh, it just doesn't fall. I don't know what, where we're from in Michigan. What we do is we add, hold on, young. Yeah. Here's my chili. Then we add salt, or I'm sorry, <laughs> cheese on the top. And then we add fresh onion on it. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> Just kidding. And then if we get to sitting down and I go, you know what, I wanted to bite into more tomatoes than that, then I'll come and I'll throw more tomatoes in. You can, it, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Let me lift. Mm. All right. Yummy. Okay, we got to do our tink. I'm going to keep it on low. This will probably eat tomorrow. Oh, babe, it's, uh, it's, what on, me. it's on me. <laughs> this is uh, probably be ours tomorrow. I'll kind of pick at it or whatever. Um, but I'll probably stick about half of it or something into the freezer and then I'll defrost it. I'll put it on the microwave for maybe five minutes to defrost. It'll just kind of break it a little bit. Then get a pan like this again. Stick your little block that you had in there with taking the plastic off. Put a lid on it and in about 20 minutes it'll be back up to where it was. And chili's always better the second time around yes. for sure. Yes. All right, baby. Longer it sits. Ooh. There we go. Oh, hold on. I get cheese on there. Right. Oh, look at our baby. Sleepy, sleepy. <laughs> Ready? Everybody pray for my baby. She don't feel good. Ah, cheese. Ready? Cheese. Look at it. Tink. Okay. Tink. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. The bacon and the aloe cheddar. <laughs> you like good. it? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Cheesy, cheesy. If you don't like cheese, it took me a while to like cheese on my chili. Mm. Um, some people crunch up crackers, or I, uh, some people in Michigan also do uh, the saltines, corn chips. Man. We don't have no so saltines. No, nope. gotta they, have with saltines. They do corn chips. They crunch up corn chips like a walking taco. This is good though. Very good. It's just because it's like supposed to be cold for the next couple days. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's I wanted the to give you guys cheese. something. That's good. Not today, but you can make it tomorrow. Oh, good. Gabby, Gabby, did you see that I made um, smothered pork chops? You had asked about it. So I made those. I made the fideo. Um, That's good. Which is good, right? Mm -hmm. Don't put the onion on top uh, if you don't want. Uh, yeah, I know. It is. Um, don't put the onion on top when you're ready to eat it if you don't like raw onion. Because it will definitely taste very, very onion. If you don't like that, just do with what's in the pan. Because the topping on top, your uh, onion and cheese, you, that onion is crunchy and strong. We could eat chili <clears throat> for days. We like it. Um, we kind of reheat it by the cup sometimes. Um, and then we just, sometimes just watching TV, watching a movie. Sometimes to hold us over till dinner's ready. Joe will grab a bowl of chili. Or when we're making um, a video. Thank you, want, baby? Or when we're making a video. <laughs> or when we're making a video. Mm. Any questions? Oh, you love raw onions. Shut up, nosy. Um, mm. Oh, you like chato beans. Mom, thank you for being here. Yeah, we do. Um, I made the frijoles a la chad, Marissa, on a Sunday video. I made, uh, I made... I boiled beans in my slow cooker and then I made them a la chad in the morning with the cilantro, the bacon, the tomato, and the onion. Uh, <laughs> you guys are so great. Um, thank you guys for being patient. I apologize for oversleeping. Uh, thank you for my girls for waking me up and, and reminding me. Oh my God, tragic. Thank you for making a guest appearance on skis. I was dead. I was loving that. Um, thank you. Oh, y'all, we did our pans. 
Look at look at how pretty my girlfriends. I have girlfriends and they did this for me. We um seasoned. seasoned it, stuck it in the oven for like an hour. We put oil or whatever. We treated it, I guess you call it. Thank you. I wanted to make cornbread so badly. Um, but I couldn't, you guys. Because somebody, I think we made it or something. I thought it had cornbread and we we're gonna make it in there. And I don't know. It wasn't there when I wanted to make it. But Tragic had us rolling on the floor because um, I was expecting some. Well, first Snow White had us rolling, and then uh, Tragic went up there. I swear to God, you guys, those are the best. We just, you guys are so funny up there. Um, anyways, some people have put cornbread in their bowl, which I've never had that. Um, but they make homemade. I want to make a really good cornbread. We had one that we were traveling, and they had jalapeno cornbread. But it was, um, it was like, uh, like he likes cakey uh, cornbread. Um, so he doesn't like the crumbly one. He wants it to actually have a little denseness in it. Um, but it was so, so good. And it had a little piece of jalapeno in it, right? Yes. Jalapeno so cornbread. we, I'm, I'm, I experiment a lot at home and I'll say, well, I've got this and I got this. So let me try putting this. You put your cornbread, made cornbread in the stove. I make my cornbread in the stove, and then, like, I guess you're supposed to get this and make it hot, really hot first, pour your cornbread in it, um, and then you bake it. But they, some people put their cornbread, they break a piece off, and they put it into their chili. I've never had that, but I'm, I mean, I swear to you, me and Joe are like food connoisseurs. We will try anything once if it We're tastes foodies, good. We're foodies, aren't we? We kind of are. Um, all of you guys, thank you for coming in. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you. Don't forget to hit the like, you guys. I appreciate it. Um, anybody that's coming in, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys just sharing us, sharing us on your Facebook page, sharing us on your, on your, um, on your page. We're also doing a, uh, a waffle for, it's a 50-50 where some of it's gonna go 50% to our our daughter's tuition and then the other half goes back to you guys for the winner. So whoever is interested in that, please get a hold of the mods. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, I try to be humane. I try to think about people's feelings and I honestly, I try so much to think about um, what I wanna hear that, what I wanna have that. And I know that it comes across like that I'm overly nice to some people, but that's okay. I'd rather be overly nice than short and ugly to people. Um, anyways, if you have any questions about the soup or the, I mean, sorry, the chili, like, hey, does this work? If I use this, can I do this? My email's in the back page. Please feel free. Well, I text me, email me, whatever you need to do to get a hold of me. I will more than happy reach back out to you to see how I can help in any way. Thank you, thank you again. My mods are fabulous. Thank you, everybody. Um, I love you guys. All right. Remember, my meat, my Joe, choice, no. my meat. Everybody, everybody, <laughs> my meat, my Joe, choice. I can't say that. <laughs> we apologize for the the disgustingness of that. Um, but tune in again, and I promise that will not be going on. Have a good night, everybody. I'm talking about hamburger.